entitled Mother Throws Fit in Restaurant, this story happened to me a few years ago when I worked at a bar and grill type place. Normally I worked as a hostess, but on this particular day the lunch server called out sick and my cousin, the manager slash bartender on duty for the day asked me to fill in for her shift. I agreed, even though I had other plans for the day and I had never served before. Boy did I come to regret that decision. The cast. Me a young naive and broke 18 yo see my cousin, the manager slash bartender M the entitled mother EK entitled kid G mother of M, grandmother of EK, didn't really act entitled, and was mostly fine. The story. I was nearing the end of my shift when M, EK, and G enter the restaurant. I sit them down, give them menus and go to take care of some of my other tables. EK doesn't even bother to sit down and starts running laps around the restaurant and kicking the quarter candy machines. I come back to the table of entitled people to get their drink orders. I can't remember what M and G ordered, but M ordered a root beer for EK, who still hadn't bothered to sit down. Any of the fountain sodas at this particular place are $2.75, pricey I know, but come with free unlimited refills. I give them their drinks and take their food orders. Over the entire course of the meal, EK maybe sat down for 5 minutes to eat 3 bites of his food and take 2 sips of his root beer. The entire time he was acting up, and he very nearly tripped me up when I was carrying heavy plates twice. C even asked M to stop her child from running all over the place as he was disturbing other guests. Eventually they are finishing up their meal and are ready to pay the bill. I swing by the table and drop off their check and to go boxes and head around the dining room to clear a few other tables and tidy up a bit. After about 5 minutes, I see that all the food at M's table has been boxed but they aren't getting up to leave. I go back to their table to see what's up, expecting something like they want to pay with a card me, is there anything else I can help you with? M, yes I would like a to-go cup for my son's root beer. Me, I'm not sure if we have to-go cups, let me check with the bartender. M hands me the root beer and I go over to the bar to ask C if we have to-go cups. Me, hey I know it's a long shot but do we have to-go cups? M would like one for her son's root beer. C, no we don't have to-go cups. What does she think this is, McDonald's? C then takes a plastic cup, think red solo cup but clear plastic, no top or cover, and pours the root beer into that. C, here take this and tell her that we're sorry but we don't have to go cups and this is the best we can do. I go back over to M and relay the above info. M proceeds to lose her mind. M, what do you mean you don't have to go cups? He drank only 3 sips and I am not paying $2.75 for this. I don't know what you expect me to do with this cup without a top. M then proceeds to pour the root beer over my head. I'm standing in the middle of the dining room dripping wet and in disbelief that this actually just happened. Lucky for me, C witnessed the whole thing and jumped to defend me. C, are you serious lady? Leave now or I will call the cops. M, this has been the worst service I have even experienced in my entire life. I will be leaving a phone call to your manager. C, jokes on you I am the manager. All the entitled people stormed out, and C returned to the bar where she distributed to-go cups for all the regulars and friends at the bar. A nice couple who had witnessed the entire debacle also took pity on me and told me I didn't deserve that and tipped me very well. I never saw EK or M ever again. I think I met M once while waitressing at a cheesy little German pastry shop. She threw a fit when she learned that we didn't have hot dogs in our mainly coffee and pastry, menu because any restaurant worth going to always have a children's section with hot dogs. She wrote a two ticket, took my pad out of my apron, critique of our place that included this, the fact that I wore ankle socks and had frizzy hair and that nobody should have to look at this while eating, the decor was tacky, the coffee wasn't freshly ground, she, call out the national guard. Had to use creamer of powder instead of liquid, her child had to eat a cheese sandwich, the cook in the back improvised just to shut her up, that they had to push two tables together to accommodate all four of them, tiny tables, it's a coffee shop you stupid bitch, and that her child nagged her the whole time for cookies as displayed in our pastry case. I now feel lucky she didn't pour her inferior coffee over my head before she, honest to god.
read her manifesto of bitch a disappointment out loud to the entire restaurant before storming out with her Macy's bags and crumb covered cheese breathed child in tow. Some people should never be allowed out in public. Restaurants should really tell people with unruly children that they either have to control their kid or leave. In this case after she dumped the drink she should have been held down until the police arrived. Looking back on it now, I agree the police should have been called. I think I was too young in this situation to know what to do myself, I was mostly just content to end my shift slightly early, take my money and go home, and I was happy that I didn't have to defend myself, I was much more shy and timid at 18 than I am now, if this happened now I would have raised hell. Because it was a bar too, I think my cousin didn't want to call the police. If the police came it would have ended up in the police blotter in all the local papers and her business. The owners would have been pissed about that. And as I said before, I was too stupid to know what to do for myself.